Hey guys, imagine if you just deposited $10 worth of liquidity into a decentralized exchange and received almost $400 worth of tokens as an airdrop. Will you have done this quest? This was exactly the rewards that I received when I completed this campaign for Maverick Protocol. And right now, they have launched yet another campaign. So today, I'll be guiding you along on how you can position yourself for this juicy airdrop. Before I begin explaining this task, I would like to urge you to understand the risk of adding liquidity into any of these decentralized exchanges before you proceed with this task. Previously, I completed this task on Maverick Protocol, where it required me to swap at least $10 worth of USDC or Ethereum, and then after that, add about $10 worth of liquidity into the USDC ETH pool. This allowed me to claim this OAT on Galaxy. And thanks to this, I was able to get my hands on the MEV token airdrop, where if you scroll down all the way here, I only met this one criteria, which is where I held a Maverick Mava NFT. With the launch of the base network, Maverick Protocol has created another quest, and it is somewhat similar where you need to add liquidity on the base network. However, the problem is that now the amount that you need to add into this pool is 1000 USD instead of the $10 that I previously added. So this requires a much larger sum of your funds to participate in this campaign. What's more, you also need to leave your liquidity there for at least 20 days before you are able to qualify for this OAT. The last day of this campaign will be on the 1st of October. So you will need to add your liquidity at least 20 days before. So the latest time to add this liquidity will be on the 10th of September. So you still have roughly three weeks before that deadline. So this tweet here also mentioned that if you keep your liquidity for a longer time, it could also mean that you'll be able to win some extra airdrops as well. So if you have the funds to spare, then I would suggest that you leave it in the pool for a longer time to be able to receive even more rewards. To find out which pools that you can add liquidity to, you can go to the Maverick Protocol website, which I'll leave the link in the description below. And you need to have both of these two tokens to deposit into the pool. The one that i chosen to add my liquidity to was the DAI USDC pool because both of them are stable coins and they will not fluctuate much in value. And this reduces the risk of impermanent loss. Impermanent loss is something that will affect the amount of tokens that you withdraw from the liquidity pool. If the prices of both tokens change from the time that you deposited to the time that you withdrew them. And if you're still unfamiliar about this concept of impermanent loss, I'll leave a link in the description to a video by Whiteboard Crypto, which I think is one of the best explanations of impermanent loss. In my case, if I want to deposit liquidity into this pool, I'll need to have both the DAI and USDC tokens on the base network. I had a lot of stable coins on many different networks, including like the BNB Smart Chain, on the Polygon network and Arbitrum. So what I did was that I bridged all of these funds to the base network. And there are two main ways that you can do so, either via the Stargate Finance Bridge or Bungie Exchange. If you have used Layer 0 before, you'll be familiar with Stargate. And by performing these huge volumes of bridging transfers from these networks to base, you could also help to increase your bridging volume, which could be one of the criteria for the Layer 0 airdrop. This other bridge known as Bungie is powered by Socket. So it's another bridging protocol that is somewhat like a competitor to Layer 0. They are rumored to be doing an airdrop as well. So you can consider using this bridge as an alternative to Stargate. Now one thing you may want to note when you are bridging your funds over to the base network is that you are only able to receive the USDC token. So in this case, even if I want to bridge USDT that I have on the BNB Smart Chain, it will eventually be converted into USDC. What I did was to bridge $1,000 worth of tokens as the USDC stablecoin. Then after that, I used the swap function to swap some of these USDC into DAI. I've already bridged my funds over, so this will just be an example where I'm bridging some USDT over. And you can see that the fees will cost you less than $1 to perform this bridging transaction. You may be familiar with other bridges like Orbital Finance to bridge your funds over to base, but what I found was that you're only able to bridge the Ethereum token and not the USDC token. So this is why I'm using either Stargate or Bungie to bridge my funds over. Before we carry on with the video, I have a solution that could help you keep track of all of your different airdrop activities. So every Sunday, I'll be sending out a weekly newsletter on my Substack, which goes through all of the different airdrop activities that I've performed for that week. And all of them will be categorized based on the different networks that these activities are on. Some of these tasks have already helped me to earn airdrops, just like the Connex airdrop, which I mentioned in my previous issue. 
issue that I sent out all the way back in June. By signing up to my newsletter, you'll also be able to gain access to my Notion airdrop tracker, where it shows you all of the different airdrops that I'm currently hunting for. And within this section, you'll be able to see some of the guides that I've already created for that specific airdrop. To receive all of these benefits, do subscribe to my newsletter, which I'll leave a link in the description below. After you've reached all of your funds to the base network as USDC, I would suggest that you go to the pool section first. And to be really honest, I do not really know what all of these different modes are. So I just selected the mode static. And this part will allow you to see how much USDC and DAI that you need to add to this pool. What you may notice is that the amount of USDC and DAI that you add into this pool is not proportionately one is to one. So let's say I want to add 500 DAI into the pool. I'll actually need to add about 595 USDC inside. So in this case, I'll suggest that you just play around with the numbers to see the amount of USDC and DAI that you need to add in roughly give you about $1,000 worth of liquidity. The values that you see here may be quite different from the time that you're actually adding the liquidity. So I would suggest that you do not use these numbers as your reference. So I just play around with it. And this amount of die, which is uh, 460, would roughly give me about $1,000 worth of liquidity in total with about 547 USDC. Now that you roughly know these numbers, this would mean that you require about 460 die. And then now you can go back to the swap button and then swap some of your USDC into die. As you can see here, you'll be able to add your liquidity into this pool. You can repeat this same process for any of the other pools as well, but this will then carry the risk of impermanent loss. So I would suggest that you understand this risk first before you deposit your funds into this pool. This will also cost you some gas fees on the base network. And when I deposited the liquidity, it cost me almost $2 worth of Ethereum just to perform that one transaction. So that's something that you may want to take note of as well. Once you have deposited your liquidity, you can then go to the portfolio page. And over here, you'll be able to see the amount that you have deposited inside. And in my case, I've deposited around $1,005 worth of liquidity. And you'll also be able to get some EU as well. So in this case, I've already earned about 20 cents by just depositing my funds inside. So if you do want to withdraw it after the 20 days, you can then click on the manage button and then select remove. And then this part, you can just select all of the bins. And this will show you the amount of USDC and DAI that you'll be withdrawing, which may be different from the amount that you've deposited. However, since both stablecoins should roughly be equal in value, you should not really experience much impermanent loss. Do let me know in the comments if you'll be participating in this campaign and which pool you have decided to add liquidity into. There's another airdrop that you could receive by just minting and bridging your NFTs to different networks. And check out my video here where I explain this campaign more in detail.